All right, in this video, I want to talk about something that I have been having a issue with. And the issue that I've been having is trying to record on my cell phone videos or audio with one of these. Now, at first, they were working okay. But as time goes on, I mean, I got the right plug and all. I mean, it recorded fine. But even within the first day, sometimes when I plugged it in and I started talking into the microphone, the volume started going like berserk. And I couldn't figure out why. I thought it was something with the phone, but every phone I got, I tried it, and it did the same thing. And now, over a period of time, the microphone does not want to work on the cell phones. When I plugged it in, the little icon saying a headset's plugged in shows up. But it would not work. So I thought something was wrong with the microphone. Not true. I plugged it into the computer. It worked fine. I plugged it into the laptop. It worked flawlessly. It worked great. I said, okay, now what can it be? So I plundered. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I said, okay, this works. Because if it was the issue was this, it would not work in any device that I plugged it into. That was not the case. It worked in the computer and a laptop, just not cell phones. Don't matter what kind of cell phone I had. I have two of these that's got like a five foot cord on it, and I have one that has two cords that goes down to one cord that you plug in. So it's a twin microphone with one plug-in. So you can actually do an interview with one plug-in to your camera, cell phone, whatever, and be able to have two microphone clip-ons. Eventually, it started doing the same thing. And also, I have one of these that has a 20-foot or 19-and-a-half-foot cord on it. It started to do the same thing. Right when I got them, sometimes they work, sometimes they didn't, and sometimes when I plug it in, it just makes the volume just go up and down as the microphone was picking up noise. But eventually, if you take it, put it in and out, in and out, restart the app, you might get lucky and it actually works. But I couldn't figure out why. I like it's different brands, different links, different designs, still the same, and it says... When I brought it, it's supposed to work on my phone. And sometimes it did, and when it did, it worked beautifully, just like it did on the laptop and the desktop. So I started thinking, and I said, okay, let me get electronically about this and see exactly if there's some kind of issue with the resistance of the ohms of the microphone itself. As I said in, the, in one of my videos, I used to own a car stereo business. And I thought, I said, okay, some amps require four ohms, some of it require eight, and some of it requires two ohms to get it to work properly. I said, maybe the cell phone has to have certain resistance on the microphone for it to work properly, for it to actually detect that the microphone is there. It was a theory, a quite good one because it's all electronics and it is audio. It's audio going in, but not audio going out as it was for the subwoofer amps as I was installing. But the same electronic uh, situation. 
it was an amp that required certain resistance to get it to work properly. So I tested my theory. I got the good old handy dandy ohm meter out. And I started testing. And on these microphones, you got four rings. As you can see right there. Now, in a cell phone, the very tip is a positive uh, for audio output. Like if you got a headset, that's where it goes to the audio positive. And so, since this is nothing but a microphone, I need to test the first two rings, the very bottom one and the very next one up to get the ohm resistance of what it is on the microphone. So I'm going to test that. So at the bottom is the positive. The next one up, let me turn up. Next one up, put the positive. Second one, I'm going to put one here, 0 0.864, 0 0.8623 and 4. So 0 0.86 is what it's reading. Now I tested the 5 foot, the single, let's see, the single 5 foot, the single 19 and a half foot, the single I mean, the dual uh, 20 foot, and all of them read, they read, let's see, the 20 foot read 0 0.560. The 5 foot read 0.859. The dual read 0 0.645. 0 0.645. So all of them were point something, point six, point, let's see, point five. To point 0.8 somewhere in between there now I did a little bit of research and everything that I came up with of the resistance that it's supposed to be on the cell phone for it to activate and recognize the microphone is there is supposed to be anywhere between 1.1 and 1.5 well them are not are not meeting them requirements So I said, okay, I'm going to order another microphone. But I'm going to get one that's supposed to be high quality, which will make the ohms actually be higher. So I did. And I got one. And I said, okay, first thing I'm going to do is check the resistance. It's supposed to be a high quality audio recording for this one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now remember, the other ones was point something. 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.6. That's all I got out of them three. Don't matter if the length of the cord is 5 foot, 20 foot. It didn't matter. They still somewhere in that range. 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. Now I'm going to do the same thing. This is a five foot cord here. And I'm going to see the resistance. This is supposed to be a better quality audio clip on microphone. Put the positive, negative, If I can hold on, I can't touch the prongs with my finger because it'll read the oil and all in my fingers and give me false reading. So, there. 
we get 1.276. So it's between the 1.1 and the 1.5. So I was thinking, I said, okay, it's reading between the resistance that it says a cell phone is supposed to have to actually detect a microphone is there. A microphone is nothing but a speaker because if you put that little microphone where a speaker is supposed to be, it will play music because all this is a little diaphragm in there with a coil with a magnet and it, as the music goes in, it will actually move just like a speaker because that's all it is it's just more sensitive so it can actually pick up sound waves and turn them into volts and send them to the cell phone or whatever device you have it set and plugged into so with that theory of uh, the resistance is not what it's supposed to be according to all the data that I found online so I gave it a try I plug that in the exact same phone with the exact same app that has not updated or anything. In fact, this is the phone. This does not even have service on it. I wiped it out. I had done a factory reset. And then I'd done all the updates that it had over Wi-Fi for all the apps that comes in it. And when it completed all the updates with the pre-installed apps, I put my Google uh, account in there so I can actually access the Google Play Store to download apps. I downloaded two. Actually, I think, let's see. Actually, I only downloaded one because it has a voice recorder actually in it and it works fine it actually is uh, HD I do believe this is one yeah you can actually record in HD this was actually built into it this is pre-installed so I didn't have to record uh, re download a recorder sound recorder just open camera which is I don't know if you can see it but open camera right there that's the only one I downloaded and then, after I downloaded that one app, I went into the settings. And went to accounts. Where is my accounts? Uh, where are you? Accounts. And it has none. No account in there because I uninstalled or uninstalled my Google account from there but it still had the app that I downloaded so that way it's not going to try to do updates and whatnot and I didn't want it to do all the notifications of whatever um, it's going to every time it ties to Wi-Fi it was just going to try to do updates of all the software that actually already was installed factory installed and I didn't want that I just wanted something to record I plugged in the new microphone in, opened up the app, done recording of the video. The microphone, the, the volume did not try to start going up and down, up and down, up and down. Matter of fact, let's see if I can even actually get it to do it. Show you what I'm talking about. Let's see. I uh, need. The only thing I'm going to have to do is take this out of the case because. This here is so wide, this plastic piece is so wide, it will not physically fit all the way in there. So I'm going to have to take it out of the case. So let me take this out of the case. Uh, let's see here. Take it out of the case. Okay, now I got it out of the case. Now I'm going to plug in the microphone and see if you can see what it actually does. I'm just going to plug in the microphone. This is the this one right here, which is the first one I showed you. Let's see if it'll do it. It detects the microphone and as I pick up the microphone
I don't want to do it now, but it, like I said, it does it every now and then. And something else I noticed as I plug this in, you see the little icon right there that shows the headphone set right in the corner by itself? Watch how long it takes for it to actually show up. One, two. Everyone that has low resistance, the three that I talked about, takes like two, two count of two to actually show up. Now, the, this is the new microphone. And watch how fast this sucker shows up. One. Do it again. One. And see that that's not the same plug. You see how skinny that one is compared to this one. This one is the one that has less resistance on it. And it takes time for it to actually show up. One, two, as you can see now. It don't want to do it now, but you see the difference of that. Now I'm going to open up the app. Let's see if I can do this backwards here. Um, open up the camera. Let's see if it actually. Well. Close the app. It does not want to do it every time. It just comes and goes. It just has a fluke. Do, 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 do. It don't want to do it now. But you saw the difference in just how long it takes for it to detect that it's actually there. And all three of them actually take that long. And that's the three that has a problem of actually recording. This one, the high quality audio, one, so the phone has to have certain resistance for the microphone to work properly. Now watch when I'm sitting here doing this and not showing on the screen, it's going to do it. Okay. Well, it's just going to make a lot out of me. But you saw the difference of that, of how fast it actually detects that one, detects it. I mean, it's just like one, two. It takes longer for it to detect, and I see why. I thought it was a loose connection to microphone or something, but I, could, I plug it into the desktop, and it works flawlessly with no issues whatsoever and I plugged into the laptop it works great there too so the cell phone has to have a certain resistance in the microphone for it to actually detect it properly like I said sometimes it works sometimes it don't and sometimes it the phone just goes berserk and let me try my other phone because I had real crazy thing going on that one that one I open up the recording video app, and as I was talking, it hit the record button, stopped it, started, stopped, started, stopped, started, stopped, and all I was doing is holding the microphone and just saying, man, what's going on? Just talking. Every time I talked, it, it did something. And then all of a sudden, I stopped talking, and it still kept doing it. So let me try it. Oop, I don't want to turn it off. And I have to take this one out of the case as well just to get this to work. Let me it's the only thing I don't like about them particular microphones. You have to have adapter to actually get it fit in there. But I thought it was the adapter itself too, you know, for possibility. But I took these out of the case, the phones, and I plugged the microphone directly into it. Still did the same thing. So I was playing elimination like crazy. And uh, hoping I was hit something like maybe it's the 
adapter cord, extender cord, or something, but uh, no luck. Then I said, okay, if, if the microphone works and everything, it can't be the microphone shorten out or anything. So it had to be something electronically. So I'd done my research. Now let's see if it would do anything. Let me open up the app and see. Oh, 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 look at that, look at that. There we go. She's going berserk already. Okay, let me turn the volume back up. Let me turn the volume back up. Whoop. Turn the volume back up. Okay. This one's going to actually redeem me from myself here of actually is doing what I okay see I got this microphone right here and you can see this is the big fat plug and I'm just going to plug it on try not to touch the screen and mess it up got my hand wrapped around it so I'm not touching it. I'm just gonna plug it in right here it detects it a little faster on this one but um, <coughs> oh, see here's the here, here's the uh, volume buttons right here volume buttons are right here up and down right there as you can see but as I talk in it see it's coming up and I'm not touching anything as you can see nothing and it's actually moving. I can set it back up. Let's see, be sure I get the right one. Uh, volume right there. Back up. And you can see I'm not pushing no buttons. The volume buttons are here. Volume up, volume down, power. There are no buttons on this side, as you can see. There's no buttons on that side. None. So I'm going to hold it down here. There's no buttons down here at the bottom where my thumb is. So I'm going to hold it down here. So you see that I'm not pushing any buttons. Let me be sure it's back up. All right, now I'm going to start talking, and I'm going to see if it actually will start doing something. And as you can see, the volume is going down. Now I'm going to stop talking. Now I'm going to turn the volume back up. I'm going to unplug the microphone. And you can see my hands right here. And I'm going to plug it back in. You know there's no buttons down here. There's no buttons up here. And I'm not touching the screen. Plug it in. Up oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. I'm trying to get it all the way down to vibrate. Now isn't that crazy? turns the volume down and does not record. I know this is a long video, but I want to demonstrate if anybody else has this problem, it might be just a microphone, the resistance is not strong enough. And the other microphone, the high quality one, which is still less than $20. Now the three that I brought was around from eight dollars and the dual was twelve dollars now this high quality one was eighteen dollars very little difference in the price all from Amazon but having the right equipment that matches the requirements of your recording device, whether that's audio or video, makes the world a difference. It can throw a monkey wrench in the middle of everything. Now, 
a camera that has a external uh, plug for a microphone these three work great on it you just get an adapter that goes from a TRRS to a TRS and it works fine just like it does on my desktop and even the HD works on there as well it's just on a cell phone it wants to make it go crazy and it's not just Android now before you even say it's Android operating system it happens on Apple as well maybe not all Apple phones but the ones I mess with trying it and see if it's the Android OS or whatever I mean I, I done at least like two weeks of testing of everything that I can think of the knowledge I have of electronics and everything else what can trigger it to do what it was doing and it came down to the ohms itself because whenever I eliminate the low ohms below 1.1 and I have it any microphone between 1.1 and 1.5 ohms it works flawlessly if I have it below 1.0 like in 3 sometimes the volume goes crazy and sometimes it records sometimes it does not so if you buy them kind of microphones if it has any issues like sometimes it records and sometimes it don't or the volume starts going up all by itself just before you even do anything but plug it in and talk in it See if you can get an ohm meter and check the two uh, terminals on there that goes to the microphone and see what it reads. Hopefully this is uh, informational enough to help somebody that may have that issue. And it, even if you don't have the issue with it, at least now you know what kind of resistance a cell phone should have to get it to work correctly. 1.1 to 1.5 ohms resistance on the microphone from everything I found online that's what it's telling me and I do believe that information because I've seen the results if I have a microphone 1.1 to 1.5 it works no problem when I got one that's less than that it has problems so that data that I found is most likely accurate Thank you for watching. Hopefully you like this information. Hopefully it's useful to somebody that's watching this video. And if you like this kind of information, give me a thumbs up. And if you really want to get more information, hit that subscribe button down there. I really appreciate it. And hit that bell notification so you will get notified whenever I put up content or go live. Thank you again. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.